Hi! In this tutorial, I'd like to talk a little bit about RiotJS's built-in router. I'm going to use the people list tag from the previous videos, so if you haven't watched those yet, I recommend doing so. As you can see on the right, I have a list of names and a way to add and remove a person. Next, I'd like to add the ability to go to some sort of detail page for each person to read a little bit more about them. To create routes in RiotJS, I first need to decide where to declare them within my application. For now, I'm going to put them in my app.js file. However, the routes can easily be extracted to its own file. To enable routing, I'm going to call the riot route stop method to remove any hash change listeners and also clear any route callbacks. Then I'm going to add the riot route start method to get things started. Next, I need to create an object with the routes necessary for my application. The router expects a callback function with three parameters, collection, ID, and action. Since our app requires multiple routes, I've created a quick convenience method to load the proper route based upon the corresponding URL. Collection is the first segment, ID is the second segment, and action is the third segment. Next, I need to tell the router about my function handler. I'm also going to comment out my people list tag and move my mixin up above. Because I want to show the people list and people count tag on the home page and also have a separate tag for the detail page, I need to adjust my application to compensate for logic and structure differences. I'm going to start with the home page by creating a tag whose sole purpose is to act as a wrapper and encompass my people list and people count tags. I'll call this tag people index. Notice how I've changed my people list and people count tag to have a hyphen between the words. I find that I like this a little better, so I've adjusted throughout my application. Now I need to require my new tag and have my route mount it when on the home page. Because I want to show different tags based upon URL, I need a generic HTML element to mount to. In this instance, I'm going to mount the people index tag to the element with the ID of view. Let's go ahead and add that to our index.html. And then going back to my route, you can see I'm passing the people array just as I did before. And since I'm passing this as a property to the people index tag, I need to go ahead and feed it down to my people list tag as well to make the array available. Now this should be it for my home page, but it just dawned on me that I had an error in my route handler. That looks better. Now I fetch the correct route function for my route object and pass it an ID in action. We should be set now. And to refresh, it appears that things didn't work. This is because I'm missing the hash home at the end of my URL. It looks like I need to add a default route for when the hash is missing or a route doesn't exist. There we go, now we're cooking. Next, I'd like to add a detail page that shows a little extra information about the person. First, I'll add my route and pass it the necessary parameters. In this example, I want to use the ID segment to retrieve the person by index in the people array. Before we create a people detail page, I need to adjust the people list tag a bit to work with the new needs of the application. We'll need the index number for each person and also have the person's name to link to each detail page. And last, we need to create the people detail page.
it appears my people detail route is working and filling in the correct details. This concludes our lesson on routing in Riot.js. The last thing I'd like to mention is that the Riot.js router is fairly basic. If you want to support HTML5 mode or nested routes, check out something like page.js or grapnel or a number of other JavaScript routers. Thanks again for watching.